Ang ibabahagi ko po sa inyo ngayon ay ang tungkol sa multiplying fraction by a mixed number and vice versa. Let us have an example. Find the product of one-fifth times two and one-thirds. So, one-fifth times two and one-third. Then, let us have an equal sign. Then, ilipat natin ang one-fifth dito. Then, a multiplication sign, a fraction sign. And, we are going to multiply two times three equals six. At idadagdag natin yung 1 na nasa taas. So, 6 plus 1 equals 7. And after that, we are going to copy the denominator, 3. Then, an equal sign, a fraction sign. Then after that, we are going to multiply 1 times 7. And it gives the product of 7. Then, multiply also 5 times 3. And it gives the product of 15. Now, look at 7 over 15. Is 7 over 15 in the lowest term? Yes, it is. Kasi, o wala na silang greatest common factor. Therefore, 7 over 15 is the final answer. Let us have example number 2. Multiply 1 and 3 fourths times 6 over 7. So, let us have 1 and 3 fourths times 6 over 7. Let us have an equal sign, then a fraction sign. So, we are going to change now mixed number to an improper fraction, which is 1 and 3 fourths. Okay? So, let us multiply 1 times 4 equals 4 plus 3. O, idadagdag natin yung 3 na nasa itaas. So, ang sagot ay 7. Then, copy the denominator 4 here. So, ililipat na natin yung sign ng multiplication dito. Ilipat din natin yung 6 over 7 dito. So, imumultiply na natin. Bago tayo magmultiply, si 6 at saka si 4, eh meron silang common factor. Diba po? Ano po ba ang common factor ni 6 at saka 4? Diba po? 2. Okay, so we are going to use now 2. Ide divide natin sa 6 at saka 4 para lumiit ang ating multiplied. So, uunahin natin si 6. 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. Then, 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. So, let us have an equal sign, then a fraction sign. Then, we are going to multiply now 7 times 3 and it gives the product of 21. Then, multiply also 2 times 7, and it gives the product of 14. Now, the answer is 21 over 14. Is 21 over 14 in the lowest term? Hindi pa po, di ba? So, ang gagawin po natin ay gagamitin natin ang kanilang GCF. Ano po ba ang GCF ng 21 at saka 14? Diba po, 7. We are going to use now 7 over 7 to divide 21 over 14. Okay? So, let us have an equal sign, then a fraction sign. Then after that, we are going to divide 21 divided by 7. It gives the quotient of 3. And also, we are going to divide 14 divided by 7, and it gives the quotient of 2. Now, take a look. Is 3 over 2 in the lowest term? Or is 3 over 2 simplified? Hindi pa po. So, ang gagawin po natin ay we are going to simplify 3 over 2. Let us have now 3 over 2. Paano natin gawin? This time, gagamitin natin ang division method. Alright? So, let us have an equal sign, then a fraction sign. Then, gagawa tayo ng division sign. Then, after that, yung 3, gawin natin siyang dividend. Then, yung 2 naman ay gawin natin divisor. 
Then after that, we are going to divide 3 divided by 2 is equal to 1. Alright? Then multiply 1 times 2 equals 2. Then a fraction sign. Pagkatapos nyan ay isusubtract natin si 3, bawasan natin ng 2. And it gives the difference of 1. So tapos na natin na i-divide. And after that, si quotient ay ilalagay po natin as a whole number. Then, ang remainder naman ay gawin natin na numerator. Then, after that, si divisor naman ay gawin nating denominator. Tapos na. 3 halves now is changed to 1 in 1 half. So, 1 half now is in the lowest term kasi yung numerator ay 1. Therefore, 1 in 1 half is the final answer. So, para masubukan kung may natutunan, try ninyo po ito. Find the product of the following. Number 1, 3 fourths times 1 and 1 half. Number 2, 2 and 3 fourths times 1 fifth. Number 3, 1 over 9 times 3 and 2 over 7. So, bibigyan ko lang po kayo ng isang minuto lang. Alam ko napakadali lang naman ito. Then after that, we will check your answers. Alright, time is up. So, we are going to check your answers. Number 1, the correct answer is 1 and 1 eighths. Number 2, 11 over 45. And number 3, 23 over 63. So, sino nakakuha ng 3? Congratulations! So, ang gagawin po natin, we are going to change the first mixed number to an improper fraction para madali po natin silang mamultiply. Then, after that, Titingnan natin kung meron bang mga numbers sa cross cancellation or sa vertical cancellation. Tingnan natin kung yan ba ay meron silang mga common factors. So, meron silang mga GCF na maari natin silang i-reduce. Di ba po? Na mapaliit natin sila upang madali lang natin silang i-multiply. Pero kung wala naman, so, diretso tayo sa pag-multiply. Okay? So, ang gagawin lang ay we are going to multiply the numerators and also we are going to multiply the denominators. Then, titingnan natin ang sagot if it is simplified or if it is in the lowest term. Kung hindi pa po sa lowest term, so we are going to simplify our answer. Alright? So, yan lang po ang ating gagawin sa multiplying fraction by a mixed number. Muli, maraming maraming salamat sa inyong panunood. Maraming salamat din po sa lahat na nag-subscribe. Sa di pa po nakapag-subscribe, please click the subscribe and bell button para manunotify tayo kung may mga bagong upload na videos. Muli, maraming salamat po.